Hello, everyone. My name is Hank Smith. I'm the host of a podcast called Follow Him. I'm here with my wonderful co-host. His name is John, by the way. You've probably heard of him. Hi, John. Hi, Hank. (laughs) John, this little clip is called Follow Him Favorites. Uh, Hopefully, uh, people have seen one by now. It's where we take this week's uh, Come Follow Me lesson, and instead of doing our big podcast that we have, uh, we decide to do just a small little clip called Follow Him Favorites, where you get to choose your one favorite. This week's lesson is Doctrine and Covenants, section 76, the whole thing, all 119 <laughs> verses, and you get yeah. to choose one Follow Him Favorite. So <laughs> what is it? What are you, what are you thinking? This, this is a tough one because I could have chosen lots, but I, I like verse 40 and 41 because it starts out, and this is the gospel. And a yeah. lot of times... <laughs> When we define the gospel, or our friends do it, they define it by rules. Oh, I know what the gospel is. You can't drink. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know what the gospel is. You can't do this. You can't wear that. Or, oh, I know yeah. what the gospel is. Don't go shopping on Sunday. And it's like, oh, no. I heard a teenager what... say, John, I heard a teenager say once, um, uh, I, I'm a mem- I need a t-shirt that says, I'm the member of the church. I can't. Right? Like that was, that's, yeah. the, that's what it means to be, a, a, to be part of the gospel. I can't. Yeah, and def- def- define it that way, which is awful. And, yeah. and so here is a, the scripture defining, okay, this is the gospel. I love it. That's the quote. And this is the gospel, the glad tidings, which the voice out of the heavens bore record unto us, that he came into the world, even Jesus, to be crucified for the world, to bear the sins of the world, and to sanctify the world, and to cleanse it from all unrighteousness, that through him all might be saved. I mean, that is the gospel. It's not (laughs) about what you do on Sunday. The gospel is that Jesus came and loved us and died for us and cleanses us so that we can be saved. That's a... So that's my favorite, right? Little that's a thing great right there. follow him favorite. Wouldn't it be great for a young person to just kind of memorize that? And if someone were to say, "Oh, you're a latter member of the Church of Jesus Christ Latter Day Saints," what do you believe? Well, there's a verse in our scripture that says, <laughs> "Let me this, tell you what I believe." Right? This <laughs> yeah. is what I believe because that that sums it up perfectly. The good news is that all might be saved. It's good. It's glad. That's those are the words we're seeing here. This is this yeah. is good news. And those of you listening, all means you, (laughs) right? You're like, oh, I'm good. I'm just going to save everyone. Oh, poor me. I won't be in. No, all means you. You're included in the word all. Do Uh, my math. Yeah. My follow him favorite is is very similar. It's all the way uh, on the next page over in verse 69. It said, uh, these are they who uh, are just men and will add women made perfect through Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant who wrought out this perfect atonement, mm. this perfect atonement through the shedding of his own blood. John, I've heard you say, talk about Moroni 10 before, where Moroni writes at the very end of the Book of Mormon, come unto Christ and be perfected in him. And you've said, it's crucial you get the order right. It's yeah. not be perfect so you can come unto Christ. It's come unto Christ so you can be made perfect in him. Right. If the order is important. I can't go to church. I'm not good enough. I can't go to, I can't go. To, yeah, exactly. It's, oh, that's why you come. <laughs> right. And you come first. Perfected in him. It's mm-hmm. not you that's perfect. It's him and his perfect atonement, uh, which will change your life. It'll change everything about you. In the words of one of my students, her name is uh, Laura Cope. She said, Jesus can make your dreams come true and then some. Uh, and I think that's a, that's a hundred percent true. His perfect atonement can make your dreams come true. And then some, uh, we hope that you'll join us on the full podcast. Uh, we do, we do, we don't do follow him favorites. We do follow him everything <laughs> on the, on the podcast. So, uh, this week we're with Dr. Stephen Harper, who just knows just about everything about Joseph Smith. So we hope you'll join us. Um, You can find us wherever you get your podcasts.